What's happening people? Welcome to another video on the channel. These are two of the most popular clear cases you can buy for your iPhone. On the left we have the Apple clear case. On the right we have the Spigen Ultra Hybrid. In this video we're going to discuss uh, which one is the best one to go for. Um, so without further ado let's get into this video. So first of all let's weigh both cases. So let's see how much the Apple clear case weighs first. So we're looking at 34 grams for the Apple clear case and 40 grams for the Spigen Ultra Hybrid. So um, straight away we can tell that the Spigen Ultra Hybrid is uh, heavier than the Apple clear case uh, by um, 6 grams. So there we go. And if we look at the differences here, if we just look at these cases, um, we can see that the Apple Clear case is a polycarbonate hard shell uh, all the way around, so it's a very rigid case. And the Spigen Ultra Hybrid uh, is also a very rigid case as well. It does have that polycarbonate uh, back here, but it also has TPU sides, uh, which are a bit more flexible. And we also we have the open bottom on the Apple Clear case, and we have the closed bottom on the Spigen Ultra Hybrid. Um, so I do prefer this this one uh, in terms of the bottom being closed. Um, I feel that you get more protection uh, with this case compared compared with this one. So if you drop it and it does drop on the bottom of the phone, uh, you are going to get more protection with the Spigen Ultra Hybrid, which I like. Um, another thing which I've noticed is that you get more grip with the Spigen Ultra Hybrid uh, with those TPU sides and even with the polycarbonate back it does just feel uh, nicer in the hand, it feels softer and it feels a bit more grippy in the hands compared with the Apple Clear case. The Apple Clear case is uh, can feel slippery um, both on the sides uh, and the back as well. Um, so that's another thing I prefer with the Spigen Ultra Hybrid. Uh, one disadvantage of this big and ultra hybrid is that it does yellow over time. So I've had this for about a couple of months now um, and I've used it on and off and you can probably tell from looking at it on the video that it has uh, a slight yellow tint on the sides. And the back you'll see is absolutely fine, it's still crystal clear but the sides has a, a yellow tint to it uh, which is quite normal with the Spigen Ultra Hybrid um, based on other people's reviews and my experience of this in the past um, it does uh, yellow from the sides so uh, that's one advantage of having the Apple Clear case is that it does not yellow um, both on the sides and the back stay crystal clear um, and let me know your opinion maybe you've had this case in the past and it has yellowed but from my um, experience and from reading reviews and watching reviews um, the Apple Clear case uh, doesn't yellow over time. So that's one big advantage of having the Apple Clear case. Let's bring over the iPhone, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I have uh, this here in, the, in blue titanium. And let's just wipe it down a little bit just to get it clean before putting it in the clear cases. So let's put it in the Apple Clear case first of all. And it clicks in really, really nicely. Um, feels solid in the actual case. You saw that MagSafe animation there. Uh, you get that with the Apple case, which you don't get with the Spigen Ultra Hybrid. Um, and this is how it looks uh, on the phone. So it is super crystal clear. You can absolutely see through this case and it does give you a, a nice um, look into the actual, at the phone. So this is how it looks on the phone. Uh, one thing I've noticed with the Apple Clear case is that it's, the buttons are really stiff. The buttons are not very tactile at all. Um, so that's one disadvantage of the case. And also you can see that open button there, uh, which will give you less protection on the bottom of your phone and makes it more prone to scratching as well. Um, you can't fold the fit with this case. It, it fits really, really nicely uh, on the phone. Um, snaps nicely on the corner. It's really hard to take the, the corners off, um, but they do snap on really, really nicely. 
Um, this one doesn't really snap uh, because of that sort of open bottom there. Um, it doesn't snap there, but it's a really, really tight fit uh, on this case, which is really, really good, that, as you would expect with any Apple case. Um, so let's check out the Spigen Ultra Hybrid now. So just a, a note, the way to take off this case is on the sides, so this side here and down at the bottom as well. And then it's a bit more easier to take it off. There we are, it's popped out. And let's bring over the Spigen Ultra Hybrid and pop it in. So there we go, it slots in nicely as well. And this is how it looks uh, on the phone. Let's just wipe it down a bit. So this is how it looks on the phone. As you can see, that bottom is closed on the Spigen Ultra Hybrid, which will give you more protection. And it feels really, really nice and grippy in the hand compared with the Apple case. Um, you get the air cushion technology uh, from Spigen. So we have these air pockets here in each corner, which will give you a good absorption of, of any shock, of any drop. And um, so it'll give you good protection. I think you'll get better protection um, in the with the Spigen case compared with the Apple case. So that's one really, really big advantage of having the Spigen case. Buttons are really, really tactile. Um, I do like the buttons on the Spigen Ultra Hybrid. And compared with the Apple case, um, these are much, much better. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the only disadvantage is that the sides will go yellow over time. So as you can see, you probably see a, a slight yellow tint um, to the sides of, of this case. Um, so that's uh, that's just one thing one thing to note. Um, there is a big price difference between the two cases. So the Spigen Ultra Hybrid you can pick up for about twenty pounds on Amazon, whereas the Apple case uh, you can pick up for about fifty pounds. Um, so it's retailing for forty nine pounds on Amazon. So there is a massive uh, difference in the prices. Even if you pick it up on discount, you can normally get this for about sixteen pounds with a discount. And you can pick this up for about £39 uh, with a discount on Amazon. Um, so there is a massive uh, difference in the price. So which one would I recommend out of the two? Even though the Spigen Ultra Hybrid does yellow over time, um, I would still recommend the Spigen Ultra Hybrid. Um, you're getting more protection um, for your phone. And what do we use a phone case for? To protect the phone. So that's the first uh, priority the first use of a phone case. Um, and that's what this case does over the Apple case. The Apple case is open from the bottom. Some, some people might prefer that because it's easier to swipe up. Um, you're not getting this lip in the way when you swipe up, but I haven't really noticed that on the Spigen Ultra Hybrid anyway. Um, and it's easier to get your ports in. But the Spigen Ultra Hybrid has a big enough port to get any third-party cable in anyway. So you've got nothing to worry about when it comes to that. Um, so overall, I would still recommend the Spigen Ultra Hybrid. Um, it does yellow with time, as I've mentioned before, but it's so inexpensive that you can probably pick up another one after about two or three months. Um, and they're not very expensive at all. So for that, for those reasons, and the, the buttons are better on the Spigen Ultra Hybrid as well, compared with the Apple case. Uh, they're really stiff on the Apple case and they're really hard to press. Um, and for a case that costs you £50, um, I would expect uh, better from, from that phone case. So overall, I think the Spigen Ultra Hybrid is better value for money, gives you better protection, um, better buttons as well. Uh, and so for those reasons, I would recommend the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case. The MagSafe on both are really, really strong. So you've got nothing to worry about in terms of the MagSafe. But I think the Spigen Ultra Hybrid just has more advantages over the Apple Clear case. So guys, that's it for this one. I hope you found this comparison um, helpful. And uh, thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And thank you for watching. Take care, guys. Bye.